Well, we're wrapping up all of all, our, all of our fall sports right now, and the volleyball season just ended. But luckily, we have head coach of the CMU volleyball team, Dave Fleming, here. Thanks so much for joining me, Dave. Yeah, Appreciate thanks for it. having me on. Yeah, what a season for you guys—a roller coaster. But you guys played so well. End of the season, 24 and seven, 15 and three in conference play. You end up RMAC champions, and you make it all the way to the second round of the national tournament. It seemed like you guys really turned it on in the second half of the season. Why do you think that was? Um, you know, I don't know. You know, I think our, our team did a great job of trying to get in the gym every day and get better. And I think that was the big key. I think other teams out there, it's when you get in the grind, is it, are you just getting through it or right. are you actually getting in the gym and getting better? And we had great leadership. And I think the big thing for them is they got in the gym and they wanted to get better. And they knew that, that we could get better. And that showed at the end of the year. Yeah, a disappointing loss in the second round of the national tournament. You guys were so close. Are you still proud of the team or is it just... It's just hard to end the season that way. No, I'm really proud of the team. You know, Mackenzie Edwards got hurt in the, in the first round, and we ended up winning that match. And the team could have just rolled up the carpet and said, hey, let's go home. Mm -hmm. um, but no, they decided to fight. Um, we had some people playing that usually don't play, and we got to 15-12 in the fifth. Um, so yeah, I'm really proud of them. I'm really proud of the effort we put forward. Would there have been any difference if Mackenzie was able to play in that game? Mackenzie played at her absolute best. Um, the last time she was in an NCAA tournament, she had 25 kills and 30 digs. Wow. If that Mackenzie Edwards was out there against Commerce, I think we would have got the W. Yeah. But it's just, it's so hard to say that. Um, Allison Smith came in and played really well in her right. position. So, and like I said, the team fought really hard um, and we put everything out there. So it's just, I mean, it's, I think it would kill me if I just kept thinking about that over right. and over. So, but no, I'm really proud of the team, really proud of the effort they put forward. And, you know, that's a big part of D2 is you got to be healthy at the end if you're mm -hmm. going to be successful. Yeah, so. absolutely. And then you had Casey Gilfert, who was the RMAC Player of the Year and also South Central Player of the Year. What was it like to have her on the team this year? Um, it, it was really nice. That was, a, <laughs> I mean, she showed up about this time last year and we kind of called her our Christmas present, you know, the transfer <laughs> yeah. from NAU. Um, so it was great to have her on the team. I mean, she set records for hitting efficiency, I think in the RMAC and for our team for sure, but I'm pretty right. sure the RMAC record as well. Hitting 451 and for everybody out there, that's like a batting average. Mm -hmm. So if you're hitting 451 as a, a baseball player, you're pretty good. Right. Um, <laughs> so that's what she was doing as a volleyball um, on our court for us. And uh, so she had a great year, so it was really nice to have her. And I think she made everybody else better too. She's a humble kid. Um, she wants to work hard. She wanted to continue to get better. So she made everybody around her better. And so she fit in with the team right away. Oh, I'm absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we were all, everybody was crying after we lost to Commerce. And I, you know, I said my things and I said, we're going to really miss you seniors. And she got up and she said, um, you know, um, I really appreciate this team. You guys made me feel a part of the family right away. And right. Um, she loves it here, so um, yeah, she fit in really well. Absolutely, and then the, the only two seniors on the team, right? Four seniors. Four, four yeah. seniors, excuse yeah. me. Yeah, but what a senior class that you had this year. I mean, what's it going to be like when they're gone? Um, yeah, it's going to be real tough. The leadership's going to be tough uh, missing them. Um, Taylor and, and Mackenzie have been leaders for us for, in, or captains for us for three years. Right. With them gone, and then Natalie Todd and Alyssa Chucka also do really well on the leadership side. So that's going to be a big void for us. Um, so I th that's going to be kind of our target in the spring is kind of develop some of those young leaders. I think Casey Gilford could fill that role pretty well. Camille Smith had a great year, yeah. could fill that role really well. And I hopefully uh, one of our setters steps up in the leadership role as well. Absolutely. I mean, you guys have so much young talent. I feel like everybody should be excited for the future. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you look at our roster there at the end, um, when we were playing Commerce, we really had one senior that was playing a, a super significant role, and that right. was Taylor Woods. And that's going to be a big hole to fill. But we've got a, a young freshman, um, Kirsten Lehman, who's doing great. Um, so we think she's going to fit in that role really well. So yeah, we're excited about the future. We've got two um, all-conference middles coming back, uh, one of our outside hitters coming back, and our um, Ashton Reese will be healthy on the right side. So. Wow, so a lot of exciting stuff to look forward to for 2019. So, absolutely. Dave, thank you so much for coming in. We're already excited for the next season, yep, but congratulations on such a great year. Yeah, thanks, Brett. Thanks for having me All on. All right, cool. And then you can catch this interview on westernslopenow.com.